Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the official Havoc OS 2.6 for our Galaxy S2016 with the latest patches. So, without wasting more time, let's start. Havoc OS is the most customizable AOSP ROM in like, or like since two years. It was based on Oreo first, and now we have the Pi version here. And as you can see, we have the latest 2.6 version, 12 June build, which is the latest build for J7XE LD. And it's official also so that's great also we get 5 june 2019 security batch and we also have the oxygen kernel 5.0 which you have to flash in order to boot this rom okay guys starting with the launcher we have the launcher launcher as you can see it has a lot of settings which you can customize afterwards and also it has google uh, at a glance support with weather support too also guys if you use micro g you can also use this rom without g apps it has micro g support also it comes with a browser the via browser inbuilt so if you are like not flashing g apps you will get browser then into the settings we get this new look it looks really great as you can see the settings icon the uh, settings user interface it looks really nice and then we move into havoc settings we get a lot of setting options so i'm just going to go through every and each option like not go through every and each option i'm just going to show you what these options are so you can see uh, gestures clock battery and also we have the android q battery so yeah this is how it looks the android q battery and we also have a custom logo so you can choose have of course custom logo or you can set any other custom logo you have like the beats one or the dead star so you can choose any of the Havoc OS logos or whatever the logos we have. Then we have 4G icon if you don't want LTE icon and a lot of stuff is there. Then into quick settings we have the quick settings layout, the brightness slider, the elements, the footer and you can see you can edit the footer options. If you want to use a switch icon you can dis disable it or enable it. Then the edit icon, the running services icon, the settings icon and the VPN. And then going to interface, all of the UI interface options are in here. As you can see UI style, pixel or USB background. Uh, yeah, I will prefer of course shady because you need to get the AMOLED theme inside that. The accent color you can choose. You have font manager with a lot of fonts and uh, yeah, we have a lot of fonts. I cannot name which is the best, but yeah, like we got almost uh, majority of fonts are in this ROM if you compare it with other ROMs then we have a quick settings header style quick setting tile style and you can choose from a variety of tile styles so if I choose uh, cookie the system UI will refresh in the background the quick settings will and as you can see the quick settings uh, tile style has been changed to cookie so it looks really good also we have switch appearances oneplus or the MD2 and here we can see dashboard icons also present from Oreo, round one plus or round accent. And we can also disable dashboard conditions and suggestions for that shittiness. Then we have ambient display options and into ambient options we have always on display. Now this ROM has like AOSP ROMs are deep sleep problem. So I would not consider you to use an always on display. But yeah, you can use if you are using this as a secondary device, but that won't be causing any harm because we have AOD uh, protection support. Then we have smart pixels, smart stabilization and rounded corner support too. So you can make your corners rounded and we have navigation bar and a lot of options into buttons. We have a hardware button customization. Also, we have a home button and enable uh, wake as you can see home button wake up. So you can just wake up using the home button. And yeah, it works fine. So yeah, that's awesome. Then going back into the Havoc settings, uh, going to the gestures, we have all type of gestures, the swipe gestures, edge gestures, pie control, one plus gestures and swipe to screenshot. Into system gestures, we get the swipe up on home button and you can enable or disable it. But if you want to use it, you have to enable the navigation bar in here. So yeah, now as you can see, we get this navigation bar. And you can also completely disable the hardware keys if you want to use the navbar. So yeah, that will be like really handy. Then comes the notifications. We have all of the notification stuff and I missed some stuff here yeah, in the lock screen. You can check the lock screen stuff. Also, we got the lock screen uh, Q clock. So as you can see, uh, clock style, you can change it to text Android Q. And this is how it is going to be appeared. So it looks really nice. 
and in my opinion it's the best clock size and uh, like best clock style and now move into animations these are the animation stuff also recent i guess i missed the recent stuff is quick step and we have stock grid android go or slim recent so a lot of like all of the stuff which is present in other roms is present in here into system we have burn in production signature spoofing uh, show cpu info input meta this is keyboard related stuff then battery saving you can block away clocks uh, you can block the uh, sensor block per package then alarm blocker aggressive battery and a lot of stuff is there to uh, change your uh, uh, battery uh, settings and stuff then we have usb configuration you can set default then wake up on charger charging animation uh, yeah the animation is really cool from the android q and we have the screenshot uh, and screen record too with high quality support so that is really awesome guys so guys this rom has everything working uh, with the camera so as you can see the camera works fine so as you can see the camera works fine and takes pictures now i don't have anything here also no phone and swipe down uh, swipe right then you will get the video option and it clicks videos too yeah it's working fine uh, yeah it's the, just the basic camera if you want full samsung functionality you cannot get it on usb roms you have to install a samsung touch user on them now uh, this usb roms are not for you so you if you want a clean user interface uh yeah i know you have to compromise with the camera but yeah if you want a clean user interface if you're using this device as a second hand device or uh, like sorry as a secondary device then you can basically install it easily and if you still love usb you can use easily install it and use it as your daily driver so yeah that's it some two problems are there like nfc uh voltage which is not going to work on samsung phones and deep sleep uh, some like some are minor some are major but yeah you can still use this as a daily driver with a perfectly working build and yep that's it guys for the video if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button also follow all of the instructions to install this rom all of the instructions are on the xtra thread so please follow them carefully in order to flash this and install this rom on your jsn 2016 so that's it uh, bye bye i will see you guys in the next video with the jsn 2016 on your device till then bye bye